Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today topic is Top 10 Beautiful Women in Ancient Times. Before going to the video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and click bell icon next to the subscribe button for latest updates. Let's go to the video. Number 10. Noor Jahan Noor Jahan was born on May 1577 and she was Empress Consort of the Mughal Empire and most beloved and influential wife of the Mughal Emperor Jahangir. Noor Jahan was strong, charismatic, well-educated and the most powerful woman. Noor Jahan died on December 1645 at the age of 68. Number 9. John of Arc John of Arc was born on January 1412 to Jacques the Arc and Isabelle Romy at North East France. John had a speciality that she can see future visions. She said that she had a vision to help the uncrowned king Charles VII and Charles had given a mission to John to seize of Orleans as part of a relief mission but unfortunately on the mission she was captured and she was burned alive at the stake on May 1431. She died at the age of 19. Number 8 Julia Bernice Julia Bernice was a Jewish client queen of the Roman Empire during the second half of the first century. Julia was the daughter of King Herod Agrippa I and Cyprus. She was born on 28 AD. Julia was married to her father's brother Herod of Chalcis and had two sons. After Julia's husband died, she remarried to Polman II of Pontus, king of Cilicia. But that marriage was not lost longer and she returned to her kingdom. Julia died on 81st AD. Number 7. Cornelia Africana Cornelia Africana was the daughter of Publius Cornelius Scipio Africanus, the hero of the Second Punic War and Amelia Paula at Rome. Cornelia married Tiberius Gracchus the elder and they had 12 children. After her husband died, she got many marriage proposals with kings but she rejected and started to concentrate on studies. She studied literature, Latin and Greek. Number 6. Bathsheba Bathsheba was the daughter of Ilium. Bathsheba was married to Uria the Hitti. Bathsheba was known as cheating wife. She was having an affair with David and became pregnant. By knowing this, Uriah had declared and David had a fight and in that Uriah had been killed. So she obviously married David and had a son named Solomon. Number 5. Helen of Troy Helen of Troy also known as Helen of Sparta. She was the daughter of Jairus and Leda. In Greek myths, she was considered the most beautiful woman in the world. By marriage, she was queen of Laconia, a province within Homeric Greece. The wife of King Menelaus, her abduction by Paris, Prince of Troy, brought about the Trojan War. Number 4. Salome Salome was the daughter of Herod II and Herodias. Salome was married to Philip, the Tetrarch, of Eturia and Traconitis. After Philip's death in 34 AD, she married Aristobulus of Chalcis and became queen of Chalcis and Armenia Minor. Salome has become a symbol of dangerous female seductiveness. Number 3. Cleopatra Cleopatra was the last active ruler of the kingdom Egypt. She ruled almost three decades. Cleopatra was well educated and clever and she could speak various languages. Her romantic liaisons and military alliances with the Roman leaders Julius Caesar and Mark Antony as well as her supposed exotic beauty and powers of seduction earned her an enduring place in history and popular myth. Number 2. Pryne Pryne was born on 371 BC 
and she was an ancient Greek prostitute from the 4th century BC. She is best known for her trial for impiety. She was daughter of Epicles but spent most of her life in Athens. She was extraordinary beauty. She became a model posing for various painters and sculptures, including the great Praxiteles, who was also one of her clients. Now, number one, Nefertiti. Nefertiti was born on year 1370 and she was an Egyptian queen and the great royal wife of Akhenaten, an Egyptian parawa. Nefertiti means a beautiful woman. Not only the name, but she is a gorgeous and most beautiful woman on earth. Nefertiti married when she was 15 and had six daughters. Nefertiti was one of the most mysterious and powerful women in ancient Egypt. She and her husband established the cult of Aten, the sun god, and promoted Egyptian artwork that was radically different from its predecessors. A bust of Nefertiti is one of the most iconic symbols of Egypt. Hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.